everybody, Novasaur here, and would you look at that? We're finally back with another part of a Let's Play Star Stable. Honestly, it's been so long, I was practically beginning to think I would never actually get back to this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, here we are. Anyways, a lot of things have changed since the last time I have done a part, mainly because when I came back I may or may not have spent the 8,000 star coins sitting on my account because I was gone for so long, and also, um, well, the game has changed a lot, so we're gonna go through everything, we're gonna look at everything, and we'll probably do some quests. Oh, and on another note, I just bought the full version of Bandicam, so no more logo, and I'm quite happy about this. I'm also currently using the free trial for Sony Vegas 16. There's a, I'm probably not going to end up buying it after the 30 day trial is done, but um, Sony Vegas uh, Movie Maker is like only like $70, so I'm probably going to end up buying that one instead because it's cheaper and it'll be able to get what I need to do done. So anyways, let's just get going and see what has changed in my home stable. You know... One thing I was not expecting was to like what they did with the starter horse, with the new starter horse. Well, this particular coat, um, the model in general, though I love. I've always loved the new model as soon as I saw it. But the face, dragon wings, Flemeth, look at me. This was always like really skinny on the original coat, and it's just gotten thicker, and I'm not really. I ain't about that life, <laughs> and so I didn't really like that. <laughs> However, I will admit it has quite frankly grown on me. I mean, I still prefer how the face was on the other coat, but I do like this one. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed in the corner here, but we have two new horses. I only bought two, and we're probably going to buy another one in this part, because I have the star coins for it, didn't I? have zero self-control. Um, but yeah, I bought two. I bought this guy here, her girl, Royal Wish, and she's pretty- I love this more Swedish horse's coat. I put these horses in really stupid spots so it's hard to zoom in on their face, but look at that. <laughs> so there's that. And then I also bought this Lusitano. The Lusitanos are my favorite breed in the game, and I love this horse. I wanted this one on my main account. I didn't end up buying it. I have three Lusitanos on my main account, and I plan on buying more, so this is a problem. <laughs> But I love this horse, so I ended up buying it on this account thinking, Oh, I'm not going to buy another Lusitano. Oh, that's where I was wrong. Now, I'm not sure if you guys also noticed, but I did take off all the tack off my horses because each of my horses used to have their own special tack set and I used to buy them every time. I actually did do it for these two horses as well at the end. And it was sitting on my account for like a month, but I decided it's getting it's way too pricey. I keep rebuying things to do it because there's certain tax sets that I really like. So that happened, I guess. <laughs> and everything was put into my storage. We're not doing that anymore. I'll put whatever tack I want on whatever horse because quite frankly, it was getting a little ridiculous. I wasted more star coins on um tack than I did horses, which was kind of sad. <laughs> So that being said, everything in my inventory here, if it'll open, okay. Yeah, so basically at the end, at the bottom of each of my things, they sort of just piled up whatever I have doubles of. I'm probably gonna maybe end up selling the stuff, um, because I have like no Yorvik shillings, we'll see. And then I did buy a lot of pets, so there's one pet for every horse, um, which was initially the plan. And after I did it, I was like, oh, I just wasted so many star coins. <laughs> but I do love the walking pets, so I'll probably still be using a lot of these animals. Like, I'm using one right now, and that one is actually my favorite right there. Um, so, that's fine. Now, I actually, I didn't have any plans to ride Cinnamon Lady. I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't ride ride the horse of one of my newer horses to start out on the play Let's Play part. Okay, so we're gonna put this guy back, and then switch horses and stuff.
You know, I don't particularly like this glitch here. It's very annoying. <laughs> okay, so I had to run around and look at the horses for a little bit to figure out which one I wanted because honestly, there is quite a lot of horses I like in the game, but not as many that I'd be willing to buy. I considered going for the Lip Honor because when it came out, I always said I'd get the white one on my Let's Play account. And there's different horses like Shy. There's like a Shire and a Fusion Sport horse that's in Epona that I wanted to get on this account specifically. So, and I'm only going to be buying one of each breed on this account. So, unlike my main account where I'll buy like three or four of the same breed just because I have a problem and an obsession, but that's not the point. So. I was like, okay, well, which one am I going to buy? I have a thing for the Trackners recently. I have two on my other account, and I considered buying this one. And then I was like, no, not going to buy that one, because just no. <laughs> and then, not that Arabian, but there's one at the manor that I wanted, and I was like, um, uh, like, I want it, but also I, I don't, like, I love these Arabians, but I also don't want another one, because I have two on my other account. I haven't even started training yet. And then... I like the Fjords, not gonna lie, but they're also not my favorite breed in the game right now. Like, the, the cartoony style honestly fits the game. I know a lot of people didn't really like how the new Fjords came out, and I know a lot of people don't like how the new Arabians came out. And I mean, I love them both, but they aren't my favorites, However, because I have this one on my main account. Now, however, I love this Katamara, and... I considered getting the flea bitten gray, um, but I would have to get to Mistfall to get that one. And also, I have the thoroughbred flea bitten gray, and I didn't really want to buy another flea bitten because they look kind of similar coat wise. So I was like, I'll get this one. And apparently, I don't have enough for it, even though I have the star coins. Oh, wait, no, I am level 12. <laughs> so, the long story short here is that. I'm gonna have to wait. <laughs> I've bamboozled myself. I'm so sad. Yeah, so I'll eventually I'll have to come back and buy this horse um, when we hit level 12. And I mean, we're almost there. It won't take overly long. So it might be in this part, might be in the next part, or in a few parts, but we'll see. And we'll get there. We will get there. And I'm coming back for you because you're adorable. I keep referring to this tart let's play as like a let's play part. Like, I don't need to say it so many p times. You guys know. I'm getting a little excessive, but you know it's fine. We're fine. <laughs> okay, so I decided on going to do these quests here because it's the quest line. I think it is. I'm gonna need it. I'm not sure. Okay. I don't suppose you lost a horse, a big dappled girl, a draft horse, I think. Sorry, I can't be more specific, but we don't see a lot of horses like that around here. Especially not ones with an attitude like that. She's so, you know what, you should probably go check her out for yourself. See if you can find any leads about who she belongs to. I'd rather this get sorted before the boss finds out. We've got a lot of new arrivals here at the riding camp who don't know their way around horses the way you do, so it's sort of a liability thing. She's over at the dock on the beach, just west of here. Yeah, so it's the circus quest. Um, I'm not sure, because see, I don't read the quests on my main account. I purposely skip through all of them, so when I go through on um, my Let's Play account, is a new experience for me. Um, because, like, I may see what happens, but I don't even know the story of what's going on to such an extent. But I don't think I did the circus, the original circus quests on this account. I don't know if I just hadn't unlocked them or what, but... I mean, I have a lot of quests to do, like, here, this is, so I mean, I'm gonna be busy for a while, so many new quests were coming out while I was gone and stuff, and she is in the floor, um, hello. You okay? No? Okay. This must be the horse Amaya was talking about. There is a note attached to the bridle. Property of the amazing Yidris. If found, please return to Nomer's Highland along with any cargo you shall be rewarded handsomely. P.S. In case of stubbornness, use cookies. P.P.S. But not too many, no matter how much she begs. <laughs> oh? 
Oh, it's in my inventory. Can I just... Oh, nope. Gotta be dismounted. Okay, back up, Stargazer. Now most of my horses don't really have nicknames right now. I gotta get that sorted out. <laughs> okay. I love this horse, but why is she in the ground? Oh, okay, she's fine. Sorry, I got distracted. I saw a star. My eyes immediately zeroed in on this stupid thing. <laughs> Do not tell me who you are. The amazing Yidris knows all. Okay. I am Yidris. Yidris the amazing, the magnificent, the phenomenal. Call me anything you wish, as long as it's not ordinary. And you must be... i not even going to try to pronounce that name. Or that one. Or that one. Lucy. <laughs> I can't speak English. That's probably not a good idea. I must have a little psychic power after all. You weren't even close to Lucy, but okay. <laughs> Place the mask on the pedestal. A great fool once said the noblest art is that of making others happy. That is just what I intend to do here in Jorvik. Make people happy, and who knows, perhaps someday the joy I bring can spread to the entire world. Wouldn't that be grand? How do I hope to spread my gospel of delight? By f following in the footsteps of the aforementioned fool with a circus. And what a circus it shall be. Magic, miracles, and mischief. Your every dream will come in true. And of course, this being your Vic, there will be a special place for horses. But I cannot do it alone. This, that is why I sent dear Z on a very important mission. Did you find what I asked for, my four-legged friend? I love this horse. She has purple eyes. <laughs> Lucy, if you would be good, so good as to open the box and place the contents of, on the pedestal there, I will show you another good trick that I know. Okay. Do I have to be dismounted? Yep, I gotta be dismounted. What's with all these quests needing me to be dismounted nowadays? Never used to be like this. Err. Hmm. Voila! A simple wooden mask. Masks are one of the most powerful forms of magic. They allow one to become someone else they can render the wearer's true self un invisible so perhaps this mask is not so simple after all and it's the fool <laughs> zin can I say Zen? I don't know how else to pronounce that. What a right, proper fool you are. It's no wonder you're my favorite companion. Hmm. Of course, Z, you are also my favorite. We are all one big happy family of misfits. No need to be jealous. Zen, say hello to our new friend Lucy, brought into our circle as if by destiny. Now, now, don't be shy. Merci, my sweet. I'm not gonna lie, I do like the model. He looks cool. Now that we are all properly introduced, let us get down to brass tacks. Find the real box and unpack the circus tent. The four of us are going to build a circus together. Actually, make that five of us. Stargazer is part of our family now, too. Stargazer could care less. Hmm. First up, the big top. Lucy, if you wouldn't mind pulling the tent out of the crate over there. It's not there, is it? Hold on, I know it's around here somewhere. Whoops, well, one of those has to be the right one. Step to it, Lucy, find our tent. Yay, okay, Stargazer, time to go do some chores. <laughs> Where did the other boxes go? Smoke and mirrors, my little flea. But more importantly, we have our tent. No, thank you. 
Our big top is looking rather little. This won't do at all. Our friends are coming. Many friends. Friends who require a proper, a proper venue. Follow up with the injurious. Turning this humble bundle of cloth into our big top will make a true team effort. We'll take a, a true team effort. We'll need permits, pegs, and poles. Z, will you help Stargazer haul logs to support our tent? Zin, you can prepare the rigging. Lucy, it is clear you have a gift for opening boxes, so I want you to focus on that. I calculate if we all work together, the circus will be ready in six days, no less. The work begins now. Must I do everything myself? Fine, but I'll remember this, you layabouts. <laughs> Lucy, you might want to stand back. If it was that easy for him to just put it up on his own, I remember last time it was more of a, like, adventure. <laughs> Magnifically... Magnificent? Magnif no, no. You know, this is why I shouldn't try to say words I know I can't say. <laughs> a perfect palace for wonders and delight, and there will be plenty of room for all of my friends when they arrive. You must be eager to see what mysteries lie inside our big top. Soon, my lovely, soon. There will be more preparations to attend to first. Untangles in from the circus tent rigging. Zin, will you be so kind as to fetch the- Zin, where did my fool run off to? <laughs> Stay calm, Zin. Lucy will get you down. Why won't you get him down? <laughs> I don't want to deal with him. What is wrong, little dove? Did my fool frighten you without his mask? It is merely a trick of the light. I would tell you more, but a magician never reveals his secrets. Wait, what? He doesn't look weird without the mask. What do you mean? What do you mean? How is it that my horse is a bigger prankster than my clown? I suppose every family has its quirks. Someone needs to get poor Zin's mask back from Z's. And since the two of you hit it off so well earlier, it should probably be you. What do you mean? This horse doesn't like me. This horse doesn't like me. What do you mean? No. Okay. Sending me on a freaking wild goose chase, you do. Nicker. See, reluctantly drops the mask. Wait, I just realized. I usually turn this on before I do because I like it. <laughs> before I start, well, when I first lock on. Ugh. I should probably return this to Yidris. Okay, we'll leave his horse just sitting there because that is clearly the smart thing to do here. We should get my fool back in costume right away. A clown without his makeup is truly a frightening sight. And now does everyone have their appearance short appearance sorted out? Um Stargazer is looking a bit long in the face, but I suppose that can't be helped. Let's get back to making magic. Did you just make a pun about my horse's face? I, I don't think Stargazer consented to that. I didn't consent to that. Dude. <laughs> Our big top is missing something. Of course, the cherry on top of our Sunday of dreams. A luminous, a luminous sign to welcome a guest to the show. Now, where did I put the sign? With your horse, carry the big circus sign attached. Okay. Where is it? I, wait, but I don't know where it is. Oh, okay. Well, this is fine. We're fine. And it's now fusing uh, with Stargazers. But you know what? This is my life now, okay? Don't expect more from me, because you ain't getting more from me. <laughs> you just, I did it. Okay, I did it. <laughs> Perfect! Our circus shall light up the night, bringing in guests like moths to a, f to a flame. Yes, a con... You know what? No, not even gonna say it. Of delights. We will put on such a show here, the likes of which this world has never seen, and I have you to thank. Let no one tell you that you're just another silly girl with a head for horses. Stick with me, my dear girl. We'll bring down the house. Oh, will we now? Will we now? 
It occurs to me that our circus will be a ball, but it is a bit off the beaten track. What kind of post would I be if I did not make life easy for our guests? One time on this earth is so limited. We should make it easier to have a ball. That's it, a pumpkin. Lucy, you must fetch us a pumpkin. But where to find one? What's this? Unless my nose deceives me, the smell of a nut bag and all spices raffing up from Moreland Staples. Could it be someone baking a pumpkin pie? Fate truly smiles on us, a little flea. Follow the scent of and find our mystery pie maker. Perhaps they can part with a pumpkin. I think I know where we're going. I think I know where we're going. Why, yes, I am baking pumpkin pie. Why do you ask? You need a pumpkin. After baking my pies, I had exactly one pumpkin left over. I don't believe in coincidences. Fate meant for you to have this pumpkin, dear. Take it. No explanation necessary. I love Miss Holdsworth. Um, just to make this just go a little bit easier, so I might be doing that. We'll see. We'll see. But I do really like Nightstar. My main account is also on the server because it was my first ever server. Till then, I guess I have to deal with freezing with this, like freezing every little bit. Hmm. Did you find the pie maker? Of course you did. You found our pumpkin. I'm a very lucky fellow. Fortune always smiles on my friends. Now, what are the magic words for transforming a pumpkin? Salagadula, Kalamazoo. Let's just go with the classic Abracadabra. They need to update that card in the front there because it looks a little, looks a little out of place, just a bit. Okay, let's try this again. I just threw my account onto a different server and it seems to be a little laggy. I'm very confused. I've never had issues filming before. Come on. This is an interesting situation I put myself in. Okay, let's try a different server because I just moved myself to Night Sprinkles. Okay, forgot I can't switch servers for another 20 minutes. Sorry, 30 minutes. Um, so, I, while I was doing all that, I was on Instagram and I'm like, hmm, I wonder what happened to Red Heart's Legacy because there's a new club called Red Heart Squad that's on Nightstar. And I'm like, hmm, where's Red Heart's Legacy? I haven't seen Red Heart's Legacy in a while. Red Heart's Legacy used to be such a big thing. It was so popular. Everyone loved that club when I first joined. Oh, well, not even when I first joined. I can't remember. It's been a while though, but I was like looking for it and I'm like, oh, well, there's not a trace of like of an Instagram account or anything anymore. I wonder what happened. Well, I, I'm shook. Okay, anyways, gonna continue here. Our Circus of Dreams is coming together quite nicely, wouldn't you agree? More fun and games will follow, but for now I invite you to enter the big top as much as you wish ride rehearse and prepare for the main for the main event my shining star for when my friends arrive i want you in the ring where you belong my faithful fool zin has gone into his head that he would like to put on a race he read a book about rodeo clowns and selected a course from the western tradition a butterfly pole configuration used in don't know what that is butterfly what if Fitting metaphor for my circus where dreams transform into reality. Why am I getting a friend request? Would you care to give Zin's race a go? Um. No. <laughs> and then yes. Hmm. 
Lucy, come close. There's a matter of grave importance I wish to share with you. My circus of dreams exists to make people happy and fulfill the wishes born from the hearts of all misfits who find their way here. Lately, I have been hearing of whispers on the wind for such a wish. The world wishes for something beautiful. The amazing Idris is all too happy to oblige. My dear companion Z has already tasked the procure tasked to the procure the to procure ooh, the necessary element for such a task. <laughs> and here she is now. Oh, 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 is this what I think it is? Gather round, one and all. Let the show begin. Ah, <gasps> the starter horse with a purple mane. Oh, it's Flemeth, but more purple and pink. Hmm, a little long in the tooth. Granted, there is a certain nostalgic appeal, but I desire to bring you something truly new. Let's try that again. A reindeer that is in desperate need of an update. Oh dear, is this, is this what is this a merry mishap? A bit early in the season, don't you think? I jolly well better send this gift back unopened. Do not despair, little flea, we're getting close. My third attempt will give birth to something astounding. I hate that he calls me a little flea. Like, I didn't consent. It's a zony! <laughs> Not gonna say it. Not gonna try and say it. Lucy, Stargazer, indeed, all of your gaze upon the miracle that is n that now stands before us. <laughs> that is adorable. <laughs> the pinnacle of creation, a true one of a kind marvel that could only happen at Yidris's circus of dreams. <laughs> now, now, don't be jealousy. You are both marvels in entirely different ways. This new amazing creature will bear the name Zoni, a fantastical and beautiful creature only seen at Yudris' Circus of Dreams. I'm tempted to buy another one on this account because, oh, do I love my little meteor magic. <laughs> it's a precious, it's a, it's a precious creature, okay? It deserves all the love and attention. Mm. I cannot keep a wonder such as this for myself. This gift is to be shared with the entire world, perhaps even with you. For a small adoption fee, you too could find the amazing Yudris' Zoni in your possession. Who knows, it might even bring you good fortune. I love this. I love the Zoni. It is such an adorable little creature. Like, oh, Look at this. I'll probably come back and look at it again after I get my Kanamara. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy it again, though. I, like, I'm tempted to, but I also have a thing where I don't want to waste Star Coins buying the same horse on more than one account. But I love this horse in two pieces, so we'll see. Maybe. Maybe. But we do also gotta do this. I hate the fortune teller's tent because last time I went in here, I got stuck and I couldn't leave. So he was just, your dress was just sitting there staring at me, and I was very uncomfy. <laughs> this entire thing makes me uncomfy. <laughs> Greetings, Lucy. I've been expecting you. Oh yes, the great Yidris is all-seeing and all-knowing. Your future is as clear, is clear as crystal. But you, but are you strong enough to know your destiny? Shall we begin? This, this being your vic fortunes involving horses are especially popular. But I can also peer deeper into your soul if you have the courage. Of course. Holding time and space. He makes me uncomfortable. He just makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Face it, Lucy. You are horse crazy. When you aren't trying out a new set attack, you are thinking about the next time you can practice barrel racing. Slow down. Your single-minded focus will cost you an enormous ice cream sundae and is filling your horse's heads with boring thoughts. 
There is more to life than riding. Give Stargazer a break and spend some time with a nimble lumberjack instead. Who knows, perhaps this, uh, perhaps a summit time away from the sable will bring you acceptance next time you settle up your favorite Dutch Warmblood. I don't even have a Dutch Warmblood on this account. Thank you, come again. There will be no more fortunes today. Until next time. I don't have a Dutch Warmblood on this account. <laughs> She isn't even a Dutch Wormblood. She is a Lusitano. You aren't throwing bull at me because I haven't been on this account in like three weeks. So shut up, Idris, and consent. Well, that is all for today, and I want to thank you all for watching. Um, I'm not entirely sure how long this um this Let's Play part was, and I was hoping to do more quests, but I sort of realized I don't want to pile too much on myself right now because I'm still learning how to use Sodi Vegas, so probably making this longer isn't too wise of an idea while I'm try still trying to figure this out. So I thank you guys for watching and I will definitely be seeing you guys next time. Goodbye! <laughs>